Barakata Yehawa, Barakata Yehawashai, by Shem Rakakodash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to Yahakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video. And I'll be reading from an article on the sun.co.uk titled Doomsday Bomb. China unveils terrifying Dong Fing 41 nuke that can strike U.S. in 30 minutes with 10 warheads at 70th anniversary parade. This is Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. One woe is past and that word woe means destruction and that one woe is referring to World War I. And behold, there come two woes more hereafter, World War II and this upcoming World War III, which will be nuclear which the Dong Fing 41 is going to be a part of, Russia's hypersonic gliders, and Satan 2 is going to be a part of, and these new smaller tactical nukes that the U.S. has been talking about are going to be a part of. Nuclear destruction is biblical, and nothing can happen that will stop these prophecies from coming to their fulfillment. That's why you're seeing all these uh, nuclear weapons treaties fall apart, such as the INF or the Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty, which with that coming to an end, is going to lead to the U.S. and Russia building back up their nuclear stockpiles and all these different nations showing off their new weapons. As it says in Joel chapter 3, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. War is on the horizon. And all of this is going to culminate in 200 million nuclear missiles hitting the United States of America, which is biblically known as Babylon the Great. Not just from the U.S.'s enemies, such as Russia and China, but the U.S.'s allies as well, such as Germany and France, which are going to turn against her. And it's going to turn the U.S. into the biblical lake of fire from sea to shining sea, and afterwards a desolate wasteland. And with all this being the case, you sincere Akim shouldn't be lackadaisical in this truth right now. We're in some very serious times. All this hell could break loose at any moment. So you should be fully assured in your faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and pushing this word as hard as you can to make not only your calling and election sure, but uh, that of your loved ones so you can be saved from this coming nuclear destruction. And in this video, I'm just going to go through a few precepts to show that uh, nuclear war is biblical and this title alone is jam packed with prophecy. So let's get into it. China unveils terrifying Dongfing 41 nuke that can strike U.S. in 30 minutes. And this plays into Revelation chapter 8 verse 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal, and when that seventh seal is open, that's when all hell's going to break loose. And these nuclear missiles are going to be shot to the four corners of the globe. And the elect of the nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The 144,000 and the rest of the righteous one-third are going to get beamed up on that chariot. There was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour, 30 minutes. And when you look it up, the average time it takes for a nuclear missile to go from Russia to the U.S. is 30 minutes, and from the U.S. to Russia is 30 minutes. And since China is the neighbor of Russia, it's uh, the same distance. This is an article from Quora.com titled, How Long Would It Take for a Nuclear Missile to Leave Russia and Detonate in the USA? From John Crumans, who studied at Swinburne University of Technology, approximately half an hour, the space of half an hour, 30 minutes for land-based ICBMs. These make up the bulk of both sides' arsenals and would, in the event of a nuclear apocalypse, be the biggest danger to civilian targets. Construct the U.S. in 30 minutes with 10 warheads at 70th anniversary parade and those 10 warheads refer to the smaller missiles jam-packed in a single nuclear warhead. Because um, when we tell people that 200 million nuclear missiles are going to hit the U.S., they probably think that's a ridiculous number. But when you understand that a single warhead has many smaller missiles in it, it starts to make more sense. This is Revelation chapter 9, verse 16 through 17. And the number of the army of the horsemen, referring to these nuclear missiles, Remember, 
that when the prophets saw these visions thousands of years ago, they didn't know what a nuclear missile was, so they described it the best way they could with what they knew at the time, weapons of war, spears, arrows, swords, horsemen, chariots, you name it, were 200,000 thousand, which translate to 200 million, and I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of Jason and brimstone, and the heads of the horses, that single nuclear warhead, or as the heads of lions, and a lion does a lot of his damage from his mouth, and that's where these uh, nuclear missiles do their damage, that single warhead detonates, and those many smaller nuclear warheads fly out and hit their target and destroy it, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone, that nuclear fire, that nuclear destruction, China has unveiled its ultimate doomsday weapon during one of the nation's biggest military parades. The terrifying super nuke took center stage at a huge arms showcase held in Tiananmen Square, Beijing, to mark 70 years of communist rule. That horseman, whose head is like the head of a lion, that issued forth fire, brimstone, and smoke. The massive Dongfeng 41 DF 41 missile makes a grand appearance in front of media at the huge parade in Beijing. Closer look. An unmanned drone. Military vehicles carrying DF 5B intercontinental ballistic missiles were also on show. Another nuclear capable missile that China's going to use. Formation of Dongfeng 17 conventional missiles at today's military parade. Dongfeng 41, speed 7,672 miles per hour, range 9,300 miles, 10 nuclear warheads per missile, 200 million, could reach us in 30 minutes, and I heard silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. Experts say the missile can hit every corner of the earth. Second Esdras chapter 16 verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Those arrows referring to those nuclear missiles. Again, when the prophets saw these visions, they described it the best way they could when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Experts say the missile can hit every corner of the earth, and a perfect example of this is that movie Terminator 3. There's a nuclear war at the end of it, and these missiles are shown being shot to every corner of the earth, and they look like arrows being shot. Here's a quick clip, and this just goes to show that these Hollywood uh, filmmakers read the scriptures and base their movies off of them. Strong as his hand that bendeth the bow and shoots those sharp arrows that shall not miss when they're shot to the ends of the world. The Dong Feng 41 is a 7,602 mile per hour intercontinental ballistic missile or arrow that is said to have the furthest range of any nuclear missile and could reach the US in 30 minutes. China's Communist Party celebrated its 70th anniversary in power with a military parade that showcased the DF-41 alongside the country's most advanced weapons. Soldiers in helmets and combat gear shouted hello leader and served the people as a formation of fighters. Slovakia. This article's just a lot of pictures, so I'm trying to get to the meat dealing with these nuclear missiles. Beat your uh, plowshares into swords and your spears into pruning hooks. These nations know that war is on the horizon.
Speculation was rife as to what weapons would be unveiled, with parade rehearsals showing missiles and aircraft under camouflage wraps. One of the most closely watched weapons unveiled on Tuesday was the Dongfeng-17, a nuclear-capable glider that foreign analysts say is designed to maneuver at high speed to evade anti-missile defenses. The Chinese government is keen to assert its dominance in Asia, and particularly in the South China Sea, where it has been busy building militarized islands in international waters. And it's a clear message to the U.S., Babylon the Great, is that it is getting closer than ever to matching it in terms of military might, all through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, building up these nations to take down the United States. No force can shake the status of our great motherland, and no force can stop the progress of the Chinese people in the Chinese nation. Hundreds of nukes. China has about 280 nuclear warheads compared with 6,450 for America and 6,850 for Russia, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. The military showed off China's most advanced weapons, some being shown for the first time as rows of soldiers marched in lockstep past President Xi Jinping and other leaders in Tiananmen Square, the country's symbolic political heart. Thousands of spectators waved Chinese flags and fighter jets flew overhead. The party's emphasis on missiles and other long-range weapons reflects Beijing's desire to displace the United States as the region's dominant force and enforce claims to Taiwan, the South China Sea, and other disputed territories. countries with nuclear weapons. All these nations are going to shoot their nuclear missiles onto the United States of America and also onto Israel where those uh, gutterat, imposter Israelis live which are really Amalekite Edomites. They're not the true children of Israel. The high-profile parade included 15,000 troops, more than 160 aircraft, and 580 pieces of military equipment, according to the Ministry of Defense spokesman, Major General Kai Zijun, a supersonic drone, hypersonic missile, and robotic submarine were also shown off. Pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, that's pretty much it with this article. You get the point. Now I'm going to close it out in Joel chapter 2, verse 1 through 8. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. And it's the men of the Lord, chiefly GMS or Great Millstone, who are blowing that trumpet in Zion, warning you Israelites of what's to come and to come back to your power so you can have a chance of being saved from this coming nuclear destruction. For the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand, and the day of Yahweh is nigh at hand. From that article alone, we can see that these nations are gearing up for this upcoming conflict. Verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, those nuclear missiles, there had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. And where it says there had not been ever the light, that's speaking of how these weapons came about very recently, beginning with those atomic bombs back in the 40s during World War II. Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Once these nuclear missiles are fired, all of them will be used. There's not going to be a single missile left in one of those silos. And also, after this destruction takes place, Israel's going to come back into power, and we're not going to allow you heathens to make weapons like this anymore. You're going to be under our total subjection for eternity. 
a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them. The land looks normal. You've got cities and parks and people and animals. And behind them, a desolate wilderness. And behind them, a flame burneth. After these nuclear warheads detonate, the land's going to be turned into a desolate wasteland. Think of that movie Mad Max or that video game Fallout. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. And if you're in the vicinity of one of these nuclear weapons detonations, you better pray that you're an Israelite and of that elect number so you can get beamed up on that chariot. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Again, the prophet is describing these nuclear weapons the best way he could, as horses and horsemen and chariots. Before their face the people shall be much pained, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk every one in his path. All these nuclear missiles are going to hit their targets without a hitch because the spirit of the Most High is going to be on these missiles to guide them to exactly where they need to go. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. And that sword is referring to those anti-missile defense systems which will fail in that day because the spirit of the Most High is also going to be on those anti-missile defense systems to fail. So with this video, I hope you sincere Akim were edified. Just uh, keep strong and keep pushing this word. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathens, chiefly Esau, Edom. And as always, I'm going to say a Baba Ball, Kwame Asherala. Till next time, Shalom.